Uh, quick mail day time. I'm just going to check out uh, a few things because I really want to open them and I need to video it now because I'm a narcissist. I don't know. We've got a bubble mail tracking. The funny thing about this is I actually have bought two things from him recently. One was on the 2nd of July. This was on the 2nd. The other was on the 14th. Three days ago, I got the thing that was shipped on the 14th. This is today I got, or yesterday, I think, the one that um, was shipped on the 2nd. Um, not seller's fault or anything, you know, it just kind of sat for a while. Um, comes with a lot of uh, useless things. Um, got some racing cards, Chuck Brown. Uh, I know of him as a musician, not a Jeff Burton. Is Jeff Gordon still a racer? Ricky Rudd, I believe. I used to play on N64. Um, there was a fun racing game that I liked a lot. I was terrible on the um, courses where they go through like the countryside. I don't know what they call those. Um, but pretty good on some of the normal track ones. Um, anyway, the real reason is another Braden Shoemake. Braden Shoemake, pretty sweet. Bowen's best. This is um, my third or fourth of his. Um, I'm a believer, especially at the price point. Um, yeah, I like him. I think he's going to be good. Uh, might be a couple of years before I, you know, recoup some value on that, but I got it pretty cheaply. This is an odd thing. It was mailed by UPS for 50 cents. Is that new? Can UPS mail stuff? Is this a card? I assume it's a card. It is a card. Ha! Don't watch whoever this is for. This is funny. I bought this on a whim. Um because someone shared an article with me about this player. Um, he is no longer in the pros, unfortunately, but it was a very affordable auto. Um, there's a pretty cool art autograph, uh, article about him. Um, he was also in a bunch of fan graphs write-ups. Chad Rogers, Prism, Draft Picks. This is funny because it's 2013, right? Yeah, I knew it immediately, 2013. Um, I have a ton of these. I wonder if I have... I just went through a box of these. I wonder if I have any of his actual cards. So I'm going to have to look, package that up. Um, this is cool. Going to be sending it to a buddy. Um, he's from, I believe, Texas. Um, you know, everyone's from Texas. Uh, but the real big guy is this. This monster. Look at that. P-W-E. Look, it's just fat stacks. A little break, but a guy here. Took some time. It is reinforced carbon steel, I believe is what is in here. This is from a good friend on Twitter, the Olsen CHR. Oh, I know what part of this is. I'm glad I didn't rip it. Oh man, I almost ripped something very valuable to myself. Um, but I don't know if I'm allowed to show. I think I'm allowed to show. No. Okay. Wow, we got cards. Ha! Huh. We got a, huh, a Dylan Tate. He is an Oriole. Um, he, he's not very good anymore. He was once, like, I believe the fourth overall pick. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. It doesn't say. Um, we got a pretty nice looking Logan Webb. Not sure what to do with that. We got a Michael Gibbons, obviously. He's. Look at those socks. Former shortstop converted him, did pretty well. Let's put that there. Um, ha! This is funny. Nate McLeod, one time Oriole. He had a great season for the Orioles. That is sweet. We got my boy Anthony Rizzo. Big Anthony Rizzo fan. I have him in a keeper league, so I've had that for a while. Man, there's some Jordan Hicks sitting out this year, I believe. I hate Jordan Hicks. Um, messed up in fantasy with him a bunch of times, and it just didn't work out. Um, Cal Quantrill? Cal Quantrill. Where did that come from? Holy smokes. Jose Quintana. Like, my brain, yo. Um, I'm a Jose Quintana fan. I don't know why this is here, but Jordan Hicks won. Uh, yeah, it's a nice card. We'll see. Some of these are trolling me in ways I don't understand. Let's see. There's some other ones. We got, let's go first with, no, I like that one the most. I think the one I like the least of these is a Calvin Pickering Unleashed Auto. That is sweet. Pretty sweet signature. Um, I remember when he was going to be a big effing deal. Um, he never became a big effing deal. Uh, let's go with Pete Harnish next. This is sweet. I don't believe I have a Pete Harnish autograph. I might. Um, he was in the notorious trade where the Baltimore Orioles traded Pete Harnish, um, Pete Harnish, Kurt Schilling, and Steve Finley for Glenn Davis, who I believe played like one and a half years and then his body quit and was out of the league. 
And that was a bad trade. I mean, I don't really fault the shilling thing. Like, um, the Astros themselves got rid of him pretty quickly, and I think it was for, like, Jason Grimsley or someone that clearly wasn't very good just because they weren't going to deal with shillings. Shoot. Even back then, people didn't like him. Um, obviously, he had the talent. He harnessed the talent. Hall of Fame caliber pitcher. Uh, but still, the Orioles really could have used Pete Harnish and Steve Finley. Um, that would have been nice to have. Um, we got this. This card is really sweet. Jeffrey Hammonds. Classic red auto. Um, was a big Jeffrey Hammonds fan. I believe he was the fourth overall pick uh, back in like 91. I don't know. I'm not sure when this. Maybe 91. Um, I remember he had one breakout year, I believe, with the Rockies. Um, but he had just tough injury problems with the Orioles. Um, this is really sweet. It is a Scott McGregor autographed rookie card with a bunch of other nobodies. I think, I don't know, Rook Camp's a player. Manny Sarmiento, I don't know who he is. But Scotty McGregor, um, people in Baltimore really like him. I remember, I don't remember him being around much when I was of age to remember the Orioles and players, but they, they missed Scotty McGregor in the mid to late 80s. Um, he was just someone that you could rely on. Is what I what I took from most of the conversation. Gregor baseball ref. Baseball ref. You can just type baseball ref and it goes. And McGregor. Yep, he was done by like eighty seven. Um, so that would have been. I was five then, so no wonder I didn't remember him. Um, wow, he allowed the most home runs in nineteen eighty five. He allowed thirty four home runs in two hundred innings um, with a five ERA and a one point four two WHIP. McGregor wasn't very good. He did lead the league in whip in um, 79. Um, also, strikeout to walk ratio with 3.52. Oddly, that's the only time he's been above, like, 2.0. Um, weird. Um, what an interesting career he had. Yeah. Huh. Was he, where was he ever having a truly outstanding season? Let's see. Where's your war at? He had a five-win season in 83, a four-and-a-half in 80. Huh, well, interesting career. So I guess he was pretty reliable, but it, the wheels came off really fast. Um, I guess after after he turned 30, he was basically done. He did pitch like for 500 innings, but they weren't good innings. Uh, they weren't terrible. They were average innings. I guess, yeah, I got to stop hating on him. Scotty McGregor, good player. We got an LJ Hose. I'm off the camera, so I can't see. LJ Hose. Rookie card auto. Um, Tops Chrome. Tops Chrome. These are nice cards. Slick, he was born in 1990 in Washington, D.C. He is 6 feet 190. L.J. Ho, see that? Washington, D.C. It says it right there. That's where I'm, I live. I'm not from there. I'm from outside Washington, D.C. I like Washington, D.C. But this is my favorite of the bunch. And I believe I have one of these, but um, it never hurts to have two. Um, and this is another Mickey Tettleton auto, Hometown Heroes. I like that he is on the Orioles in this because um, I have another auto of his, but he is a tiger. Um, I would think I'd go after a, you know, through the mail 1986 um, Mickey Tettleton auto. He's on the A's then. I think in the 86 or 85, I think 86. Um, for my money, the 86 with the A's are kind of one of some of my favorite cards. Um, the uh, Tony Phillips in particular is very nice. Um, ah, stickers. This is great. Um, this is from my godson. Uh, good, good fella. He's one in nine months. Gonna, he's almost a month away from his second birthday. Uh, he's growing up. He's probably taller than me now. It's crazy, but it's pretty cool. That's my name. And there's stickers. Look at it. It's very colorful. And if you knew me growing up, you'd know that this is about better than uh, my artwork that I did when I was in eighth grade. We got an Adam Jones sticker. Pretty sweet. Um, Mark Trumbo, J.J. Hardy. Oh, Mark Reynolds made it and no more Mazzara. See Mark Reynolds there. Pretty sweet. I'm a Mark Reynolds fan. Um, hit some of my favorite home runs in Oriole history. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to find a place for this. Um, it's pretty sweet. I'm pretty happy. Good mail day, man. Thanks a lot. Bye.